Hello and welcome to the WIHS Journal of Public Affairs program. I'm Jerry Williams. Well, recently I attended a Christian Educators New Haven chapter meeting and the keynote speaker was Brian Martin. Brian was gracious enough with his time to speak with me. You'll hear that conversation happening now on the WIHS Journal. It's news and public affairs. Out and about with Jerry Williams and still at the New Haven chapter of Christian Educators, their second meeting, I spoke with uh, Jeffrey, senior pastor of All Nations Christian Church. We spoke with his wife, uh, Blanca, who is the director of the All Nations Christian Academy. And right now I'm speaking with uh, the keynote speaker, Brian Martin. Good afternoon, my brother. How are you? Good afternoon. I'm doing well, my brother. Thank you for this opportunity. This is our first time meeting folks. Off mic, we just kind of got to know one, uh, one another, but now I'm turning him. He's in the fire right now. <laughs> <laughs> in is Jesus. that why he feels like this? Okay. okay. In Jesus' name. Amen. So they headhunted you. So yes. how did you co- get connected with Christian educators? Well, that's a great question, Jerry. I think the best way to describe it is Hartford is 17.8 square miles. Everybody knows somebody. There's probably no more than two degrees of separation. I know a pastor in Hartford. A pastoring team, Pastor Richard and Clara Ruffin, they had actually wanted to do a Christian Educators Awake session. And they did, I think, two of them two years in a row, which are big events, right? They're like regional events for Christian Educators. And then because they were doing Christian Educators, they introduced me to the organization. But I wasn't an educator at the time. I wasn't working in education at the time at all. So it wasn't really on my radar. But then as I got more affiliated with the pandemic happening, things of that nature, I was able to get more affiliated with it and met Blanca, interestingly enough, at a Christian educators function where I think I actually spoke at that function. And then she said, hey, I'm starting a chapter in New Haven now. I would love to have you be our speaker. So that's how it all kind of came to be. If you're just tuning in, I am with Brian Martin. He was the keynote speaker for uh, the All Nations Well, we're at the All Nations Christian Academy where they hold uh, meetings for uh, the New Haven chapter of Christian educators. What did you touch on today, brother? So in a nutshell, right, which is interesting enough, I, I gave or distributed acorns to everybody today. And really the theme that I was touching on is God on the ground floor. And it's the idea that even in the story of Paul and Silas and Philippi and the fact that You know, they went to prison for Paul casting out the demon and the girl. The whole point of that, which incidentally enough, I didn't even tell them the whole point of that. Jerry, isn't that crazy? Um, But the whole point of God sending them to Philippi was in order to break the warden out of prison, God needed to break Paul and Silas into the prison. And so the idea is that each of us, in a nutshell, are used by God. And I gave the illustration that If you wanted to bring an oak tree into that small room, how would you do it? The oak tree is probably larger than the room. But we successfully managed to bring 18 oak trees into that room because I gave each of them an acorn. And the idea behind it, Jerry, really simply is that oftentimes we see ourselves as acorns and it's God that knows we're oak trees. And so the the idea is let's be oak trees, right? Even if we don't look like it, even if people don't recognize us as that, let's be bold enough to be the oak trees that God wants us to be. So obviously your brother in the Lord, what's your nutshell testimony on coming to Christ? There's no other individual on this planet that is going to be able to satisfy your need. There's never going to be another person who's going to be able to answer all of the nagging questions that you have in your existence. What I say to people, really, Jerry, is is the idea that nothing has changed. The Garden of Eden, as it stood, the principle behind it says the same, that we have to choose God. God wants us to choose him. So where Adam and Eve had a choice between the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which equals death, and the tree of life, which equals life, we also are given the opportunity to choose. And so you choose between the substitutes or the substance. So if you've got, right, you look at these liquor stores in every city, what do the signs say? Wine and spirits. But our Father gives us the Holy Spirit, the true substance. Or you can pack your life full of these substitutes and it's never going to work out. You plug the tire, you know at some point that plug is going to give, you need a new tire. And our Father offers to us new life. 
that's what he gave me. And I got saved when I was very, when I was relatively young, 11 years old. So I didn't really get a chance to go out here, get drunk, get high and do all that kind of stuff. But the people that knew me, they would definitely tell you, this Brian is a better version than the Brian we knew. So that's my testimony. And we are with Brian Martin, and you are connected with what organization? One of my goals, Jerry, is to, I think of myself as the bridge, and I've made that like an acronym, building relationships, inviting dialogue, generating engagement. And the idea is to make these collaborations. Again, Hartford is 17.8 square miles. Somehow, uh, people and entire families are falling through the cracks. 17.8 square miles replete with religious institutions, nonprofit organizations, government agencies, and yet people are still falling through the cracks. So what I want to do is create these collaborations. So I'm affiliated with Hartford Communities That Care. I serve as the youth empowerment coach at New Visions Alternative School through Hartford Communities That Care. I work for the Trust for Public Land as a community organizer. I work at Trinity College. I'm both a student there, but I work in the Career and Life Design Center as a career programming intern. I'm affiliated with the Churches of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. My pastor is uh, Elder Ashley J. Johnson in Hartford, Connecticut, very well-known community organizer. So I'm, I'm affiliated with the, all these organizations because I want to build and strengthen these webs between these organizations. Amen. Well, praise God, man. It was a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure all mine, Jerry. And uh, I encourage you to keep doing what you're doing. Uh, God... Um, when we were talking, you know, you were sharing with me uh, a moment in one of the bookstores. What was yes, it? Barnes, Barnes and Noble. Noble. Yes. And that's how you really discovered uh, your wheelhouse, if you will. Absolutely. God pointed out, you, you see what you're doing right now as yes. you're talking to this stranger? Yes, yes. That's you right there. That's me right Yeah, there. yeah. And I can give you more. Yeah. And I think that's the idea that I would leave with anybody who's listening, Jerry, is the idea that our father what he's offering you is more. It's always going to be more. Mm -hmm. it, it initially looks like less. It, it feels like less. You feel constrained. You feel confined. But ultimately, it's more. It's more. It's, it's growing in the womb and then passing through that tight, constricting birth canal into a bigger world. Mm -hmm. But most people, they don't want to, they don't survive the passage through that canal. Um, they give up. They go back into the womb. They stay infantile and restricted and confined because it's even more confining in the passage to greater. Mm -hmm. Well, praise God. Well, thank you for sharing. It was a pleasure meeting you, brother. I'm not going to hold you any longer. I know there are people in another room there waiting. <laughs> Jerry kidnapped three right, people. Right. You know, <laughs> they go in this room and they disappear for a while. But well, it was a pleasure meeting you, man. And um, Keep doing what you're doing and keep fighting a good fight of faith and keep blessing people uh, with your God-given gifts and talents. God showed you your wheelhouse. Continue to operate in that. That's and, the plan. And that's, and that's where the effectiveness is. Absolutely. And that's how people are impacted when we're operating in our God-given gifts and talents. So keep doing what you're doing, brother, in Jesus' name. Thank you, sir. It was a pleasure being here. And to all your listeners, Jerry is the man. Follow this guy. He's going places in Jesus' name. I guess that's a prophecy. I hope he's prophesying. Listen, take it. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Thank you, brother. My pleasure. And if you would like more information about what you heard today, call WIHS 860-346-1049. 860-346-1049. The WIHS Journal. It's news and public affairs.